Happy Saturday. Well, five-day family fitness. Coach Ken, today we're going to be working on some squats, some upper body work, working on our hip mobility, our glute mobility, firing our core, get ready to go, getting ready to go. Good, right? If you guys get the message, you're going to need a towel. The towel needs to be as long as your body. Now, so when your arms are straight out, you can hold the towel in front of you, right? Take a second, grab it. If you don't have one, you won't necessarily need it, but it will help. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start our active straight leg. You're going to take your towel and you're going to wrap around the ball of your foot. You're going to go flat on your back. You want the leg and the towel, the leg to be straight. You're going to fire that quad so it's rock hard, all right? If you don't have a towel, you're just going to hold your leg straight up behind the knee. From there, with my leg up, the other leg leg on the ground is so it's parallel right and line with that leg right back down we're gonna oh all right whole point of this we're gonna fire that hand and loose remember when we warm up for our session we don't want to do stable warm-ups in other words we're not saying still we want all our motion all right 10 reps here when you're done with these 10 reps look over to the other side make sure you flat back Nine, eight, ten. Good. I'm going to switch over to the other side. Now we're going to do our left leg. Remember, as we do this, I don't want my leg slightly bent, locked in. Leg is flexed. So if you can only be in a 45 degree angle, that's fine. So I'm right here, up and down ten times, nice and slow. Think about that whole leg. We're going to leg it's up into your face. Make if you need to, give it a little tap, make sure it's tight. That's eight. And good. Now you're going to go into a four point stance. What I mean by that is my knees are underneath my hips, my hands are underneath my shoulders, and my hands are underneath my knees. All right from here, I mean, my right hand is going to go back on my, my, my hand. It's flat. Now from here, what I'm going to do is drive my toes into the ground. My elbow is going to come down to my forearm, and I'm going to reach up nice and long, looking up my elbow. My elbow is finishing in line with my hand. We call it the T-spine rotation. We're going to loosen me up that upper back. I know a of us are stuck at home working, playing video games, and everything you're doing. We're sitting around a lot. Our thoracic spine is going to loosen into that. You're going to give me 10 reps here. Then we're slow, we're going to squeeze at the top. You want to drive that elbow into your shoulder blade. That's Nine and ten. Good. Now we're going to go to the other side. Left hand on top of the neck, elbow to the forearm, up and out. Boom. Ten reps here. Focus on keeping that back flat. Don't let it arch up. Seven, eight. Nine and ten. Good, relax. Last thing we're going to do for a warm up, we're going to go to the world's greatest push up position. Drive my toes on the ground, my back leg is straight. My left leg comes outside my left hand. My left elbow goes to my big toe to keep my back leg straight. My left hand reaches up and out to the ceiling. Come back down, grab the toe, rock back with a little hamstring stretch, and I'm back in a push up. Now we do the other side. Right hand out. Elbow to the big toe, ball and hand up and out. Grab the toe and rock backwards. Give me four more on each side. All right, remember, nice and slow. It's the elbow towards the hand that goes up and out. Good. Very good. All right, keep that hand inside the knee of the leg that's up. Good. I'll do two more with you guys. All right, if you need to, you can look at me. I'll face you. I'm in that push up. Foot comes outside the hand, so my elbow's inside the knee. Left elbow to the big toe. Same hand goes up and out. Rock back, hamstring stretch. Switch over to the other side. Up and out. Grab the toe and rock back. Give me one more on each side. And then you have to go back on your backs. All right, give me 10 more seconds. And we're back on our backs. 
All right, back to our hamstring kicks. All right, straight leg. We're going to go leg up, leg straight, toe to the face. Lower back in the ground. Up and down with that other leg 10 times. All right, make sure you flex that quad of the leg that is up. Nice and slow. It's not a rush. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. We're going to switch over to the other side. Hands behind the knee, or grab the tower on the toe, pull toe to your face, up and down 10 times. All right, leg is straight. My hamstrings are a little tight, so I'm going to let my leg lower a little bit. Now I feel a little bit more of a stretch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And we're back in that four point stance. Hands and knees. Hands underneath the shoulder blades. Knees underneath the hips. Hands on the back of the neck. I'm driving my toes into the ground. Elbow to the forearm. I saw the elbow out. Nice and slow. All right, we see how this helps activate the thoracic spine. All right, helps loosen up, gives the floor mobility as we do the world's greatest stretch. That's four reps for me. I have six more to go. All right, focus on that back being flat. We don't want to arch, so we go into our lifts. We know how this movement feels. One more rep. Good, and relax, other side. And I'll back the leg, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Elbows to the forearm, up and out, eyes follow the elbow. Hopefully should have a little bit of a sweat going on. Should be your muscles firing a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. And good, and relax. Last one's world greatest again. Push up position. Foot comes outside the hand, elbow into the toe, back leg is straight, so I'll drive my toe into the ground, eyes fall the hand up and out. Grab the toe and rock back, I'll do one more on each side. You guys are going to do five reps total. Grab the toe, rock back, right? Make sure we switch sides, don't do the same time, five times in a row. Good, each time try to feel a little bit deeper stretch, get that elbow all the way down to that toe. Looking good. Give you about another 20 more seconds to finish these out. We're going to our activation. Hot one today. Good. Five more seconds to finish them out. Then we move on to our activation. Good. And relax. When I talk about activation, I'm all big about firing our hips, firing our glutes, firing our core. That's our pillar movement. All right. That's going to make sure that every time we do anything in a session, Everything's locked and tight, so we're going to start with some glute bridges. Bring your feet as close as you can to your butt. Your heels are going to drive into the ground. Your toes come off the ground like you're pulling them into your shins. Your left leg is going to reach up into the ceiling, and I'm going to drive through my right heel, my butt all the way up to the ceiling, thinking knees, hips, and shoulders all on the same line, and I'm back down. We're going to do this 10 times. As you do this, focus on that right toe, that big toe, pulling into your shin. That's going to help find the hamstring and glute just a little bit more. All right, 10 reps here. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good, relax. We're going to do the other side now, left leg. Remember, left heel close to that butt, toe into the face, toe into the shin. Up, we're going to squeeze the top, by the glute, by the core, and I'm back down. Ten reps again here. Up and down, pause. Up, pause, down. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good, relax. Now we got to do our planks. Love my planks, right? When I do my planks, my elbows are underneath my shoulders. My palms are driving the ground, or sorry, back my hands to the ground. Palms are up to the ceiling, right? My toes are going to drive into the ground. We're going to do two different sets here. The first one can be a simple plank hold. We're going to hold this for about 20 seconds. Then when I say go, we're going to do what's called channel changers. So I'm going to reach out, opposite arm, opposite arm, making sure my hips don't rock for the last 10 seconds. All right? I give you five seconds, there we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and we're up in a plank. 
Think about driving those toes into the ground, right? Squeeze that glute, squeeze that core. All right, 10 seconds left, angle channel changers. That's gonna mean that reach out with both arms out to ties. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Reach out nice and long, back in. Out nice and long, back in. 10 seconds of this. Making sure our hips do not rotate. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Good, we got one more round of this entire circuit, right? Back to our glute bridges. Flat on my back. Floor back into the ground so I can't slide my hand underneath. Left leg up to the sky, heel to the ceiling. Pulling the toe to my face. Right heel on the ground, toe into my shin. 10 reps here. Up and down, pause at the top. 10 reps, that's three. Feel it to be nice and slow. Making sure those hips get up in line with your knees. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Give me 10 reps, let me go 10 reps on the other side. Looks good, looks good, much better this round. Good. Should be on your second round of your blue bridges. Good, keep going, keep going, give me 10 more seconds to finish out. Good. And relax, we're back in our plank, I'll face you this time so you can watch my hips. Remember, as you do our plank and I reach out, my back stays flat, I'm not rotating, try to counter it. If you feel yourself rotate, bring your feet a little bit wider. Ready, in a plank, three, two, one, and go. Think I'll drive my toes into the ground, that's gonna squeeze my glutes, squeeze my core. Good, halfway through, we got 10 more seconds, and you got your tail changers. Good, four, three, two, one, and we go. Reach out with one arm back in. Reach out with the other arm and back in. All right, we're gonna should get the 10 reps because it's 10 seconds. You're gonna be nice and slow. Looking to get at least three on each arm. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Last thing we're gonna do to get our shoulders and back ready, we're gonna go flat on our stomachs. My head is gonna be pushed into the ground. My arms, are out and in line with my shoulders. So my thumbs are facing up to the ceiling, head into the ground. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach, bring my hands up on my shoulder blades and lower them back down. You do what's called a T raise. Give me 10 reps here, nice and slow. Up, pause, back down. 10 reps, I'm on number three. Make sure your thumbs are pointed up to the ceiling, closing the fist. That's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and relax. Make sure you're time to rest, grab some water if you need it. All right, as you guys grab your water, I'm gonna show you what we do next. You're going to need your towel. If you don't have a towel, you're just gonna follow without a towel in your hand. Very simple to start. My hands are gonna be above my head. I'm gonna squeeze my hands apart. Squeeze my shoulders together. And from here, I'm gonna do a squat. But as I squat, I'm not just going down and up nice and fast. I'm gonna be real slow with it. So I want you to make five seconds on the way down. So it's five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna pause at 90 degrees for one second and drive back up. You're gonna do this on my count for 10 reps. Are we ready? Hands above, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Toes point out a little bit. And I'm down, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold, and drive back up. We're gonna go nine reps. Nine, four, three, two, one. Drive back up, that's two reps, eight more. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Down, five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one, and drive up. As you do this, drive through your heels. Down, five, four, three, two, one. Good, last three. Down, five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Focus on keeping those hands behind the head. Down, five, 
four, three, two, one, and back up. Last one, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Should feel hot and tension on the shoulder blade. Should feel our release a little bit. Now to counter it, we gotta work on our chest. We're going into our push-ups. Here's how these work. I keep my hands underneath my shoulder blades, and as I go down, I drive my elbows into my ribs. I'll face forward so you can see a little better. So I keep them nice and tight. It's helped keep the shoulder in place. Don't do any damage to it. What we're gonna do is you're gonna give me 15 seconds, as many reps of push-ups as you can do. Then when I say go, you're gonna hold in a 90 degree position for 15 seconds, right? Hope you guys can follow that. I'll try to talk you through it. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. 15 seconds. As many push-ups as you can give me. All the way down, all the way up. 15 seconds here. Then when I say go again, we're driving that 90 degrees. Keep it going. Three, two, one, 90 degree hold. Squeeze and hold, push those shoulder blades together. Drive those toes into the ground. 15 seconds, you got five seconds left. Keep it going. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Now, when I do my strength sets, I don't like to just rest and drink water. I like to do a little something during it. So what you're gonna do, your legs are gonna be in 90, 90 position. So that means my knee in front is in line with my hip. My ankle and my right leg is in line with my knee. My left leg is curled behind. So I have toe, heel, knee, and ankle all in the same line. My right hand is in line with my right knee. And all I'm gonna do is rock over that right knee and feel a stretch. Feel a stretch on the right hip, right glute. Pull up for three seconds. After that, that right hand, elbow, comes just behind, so it's in line with my hip at a diagonal. From there, the hand reaches up nice and long, looking back at the window for me or whatever wall you're at. And you should feel a stretch right in the lap. Then from there, you turn and rotate, your hand is gonna look through the gap, and look at the wall behind you. Gonna give me five reps here, so we rock over the knee. Elbow behind, reach up nice and long. Turn and shoot the gap. All right, three more reps. As you do this, and the hand goes over, make sure it's not going back behind, but it's actually going in front of the chest. All right, as you go behind, you're feeling the left glute. It's gonna put a lot of stress and pain on sciatica on the lower back. Do not want that. We wanna look up, open up our hips. Go to the last rep here, over the knee. Elbow behind, reach on nice and long. And then shoot the gap. As you guys shoot the gap, you should feel the stretch a little bit higher in the back. Good, we're gonna switch over to the other side now. So my left knee in line to my hip, my heel, knee, and ankle are in line together. Same thing here, my left foot comes over, or my left hand over my left knee. Squeeze and hold, feel the stretch in the glute. Left elbow comes at a diagonal. Right hand over, nice and long, feel the stretch in the front hip, right in the hip flexor. And then just shoot the gap looking through. If you guys need more of a stretch, push that leg in front a little bit more forward. That's going to feel a little more in the glute. Okay, about 30 seconds left to get these last four reps in. If you're done, do not start early. You can just get some water, stretch whatever else you need. I'm on my last two reps. Go to the last rep here. Elbow behind, reach up nice and long. Shoot the gap and through. Good, hope you guys are sweating already. Guess what, we got two more rounds of all this, right? Let's get it going again. Grab our towel. Hands are back above the head. Give you a second to reset. Remember, as I do this, squeeze those hands apart. That's gonna activate the shoulder blades a little bit more, right? Heels are just outside my shoulder blades. Toes are slightly pointed out. Ready? Three, two, one, and five. Four, three, two, one. Drive back up, try three heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up, down, five. As you do this, let your knees stay out. Don't let it come in. And drive back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, halfway, five more, five. Four, three, two, one. Good, drive back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Keep that 
chest pain, keep those shoulder weights back. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Last two. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. Shoulders should be on fire by now. Hope they are. We're back into our push ups. Right, 15 seconds of reps, and we do a 15 second hold again. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. 15 seconds. Try and beat your last record. Remember, elbows tight to the body. Going for reps, not for speed. Good. Three, two, one, and 90 degree hold. Elbows tight to the body. Squeeze those shoulder blades, drive those toes. Squeeze and hold by that core. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done, y'all. Looking even better now. Now we go back to our active rest, back into our shin box position. Right knee in front of the hip, knee, ankle, and ankle, and line, toe, heel, knee, ankle, all in the same line. Same thing as before, rocking over that knee. Elbow comes behind, up and over. Third, shoot the gap and look through. Again, another five reps here. Remember, as I look up, look at that hand. I'm not reaching back, looking at the wall behind me. But anything, I'm looking at the wall beside me. Should give me the last two reps. Give you about 10 more seconds to finish these off. All right, remember, as we're doing these workouts, as we're doing these stretches, Great time to catch up on your breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, we're gonna switch over on the other side now. Left knee in front of the hip, toe, ankle, knee, ankle, all in the same line. Rock it over that knee. Left elbow behind, up and out. Ooh, that's a good stretch right now. And then I shoot the gap, looking back at the wall. There we go again, I got four more. Need about 30 seconds to finish these off. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Feel all that work. Feel you know, also a little bit looser as we go through it. Good, last two reps here. Good, last rep for me. And then we have one more round. Up nice and long. Turn and shoot the gap. Good. Grab a second of water if you need it. We have our final circuit right here. Then we go into our strength number two block. We're back, grab our towel, last round, boys and girls. All right, hands going back above the shoulders. Hands behind the head. So if I bring my hand down, I can come back it up. And we're ready. Three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, three more. Four, three, two, one. Back up, last two. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, last one. Five, four, Three, two, one, good, and relax. Last round of push ups here, back on our stomachs. Remember, hands on your shoulder blade, elbows driving to the ribs. Ready, three, two, one, and we go. 15 seconds of reps, here we go. Try and beat your last score, keep your form. Elbows tight into the ribs, chest all the way to the ground. Five more seconds, you can go into your hole, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and we hold. Good, squeeze and hold. Drive those elbows into those uh, ribs. Squeeze my shoulder blades together. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Come on, fire through it. Push those toes in the ground. Three, two, one, good, and relax. Back into our shin box series, back into our active rest. All right, hope you guys felt that. Should feel a little part of the glutes and core. All right, always working on all parts of the body. Don't want to focus on just one singular muscle at a time. Catch your breath. If you want, you can grab water as you do this. 
Well, rep number three. All right, as you reach, you're gonna get a little tired. Make sure this knee is staying into the ground. Good. Last rep for me here. I'll get it to my other side. Up, nice and long. And back down. Good. Other side again. Five more reps here. Make sure everything is in line. Chest over the knee. Elbow behind, reach it over and forward, not behind. And then I shoot the gap, turn and look. Give me four more reps. About 30 more seconds. Then you guys grab some water while I show you our next set. Good, three more here. All right, each time you do the stretch, you should feel a little bit more because you're trying to get more of a stretch. Right, really push yourself, keep those muscles at the normal muscle pain collection. Good, last one here. Up and over, nice and big. Look it through the gap, good. Take a second, grab some water. Make sure you're looking at me as I tell you what we're doing next. So what we're gonna do next is called a Superman row. I have the towel right in front of me. My arms are always gonna be out nice and long, but not locked out. What I'm gonna do from here, my hands are gonna be in front of my body. My toes are driving to the ground. My toes never come off the ground. What I'm gonna do is my head looking into the ground. I'm gonna pull the towel apart, pull my shoulder blades together. I'm gonna reach up, look at the towel. I'm gonna come back down, that's part one. Then from there, my hands come off the ground, towel behind the head, touch my neck, and I'm back out. So it's two movements. I have the towel out, reach up, back down, pull the towel behind. That's one rep there, you're gonna give me 10 reps on my cap. All right? If you don't have a towel, you can do it without. Same thing, reach up nice and long, back down, squeeze the elbows into the shoulders, right? Ready? Three, two, one. Towels up, squeeze and hold, back down, hands behind the head, back forward, that's one rep. We're going 10, out, in, back out, that's two, up, in, back out, up, in, back out. That's four, up, in, back out. That's five, give me five more reps. Up, in, and back out. All right, as we do this, my hands are not coming up and behind, I'm squeezing my hands into my head. Up, in, and back out. Last two reps, up, in, and back out. Last one, up, in, and back out. Good, and we relax there. Next thing we're going to do, we're going back to our warm up. What we're going to do is go to glute bridge walk out. So, you know, back in that glute bridge position, but both feet are going to stay into the ground this time. Heels are in the ground, toes pulling into my shin. Right now, I screw my lower back driving the ground so my hand can't get underneath. From here, I'm going to drive my hips up as high as I can, squeezing my core. Then, what I'm going to slowly do is walk my feet away from my butt. So my legs are straight. I'm gonna relax, drop my butt into the ground, and slowly walk my feet back up. You're gonna give me 30 seconds of reps. You should get to five. Ready? Three, two, one. So we drive up, slowly walk the feet away from my butt. Legs are straight, drop the butt back down, walk the feet back in. That's one rep. And we go again. Walk the heels away, toes into the shins the whole time. That's two reps, we're halfway through. Walk the feet away. If it feels like your hamstrings are about to tear, that actually means you're doing it right. We're working on that tension hold, firing those hamstrings. Last rep here, walk the feet away. Good, and relax. Now we do our active breaths, we're gonna work on some inchworms and fire our hamstrings all day, we gotta loosen them back out. So I'm gonna walk my hands away from my shoulder blades so I'm not in a push-up position. My heels are driving to the ground, my back is flat. And all I'm gonna do is inch work. So I'm slowly I'm gonna walk my toes into my hands as long as my legs are straight. And I'm gonna walk my toes back in. If your legs begin to bend, stop here, drive them back out, feel the stretch, and walk them back out. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds on your own. Walk your feet into your hands, slowly walk your feet away. Do this nice and slow. 
Spend 10 seconds through, you have another 20 seconds. Focus on keeping those legs straight the whole time. Very good, very good. Good. 10 more seconds. And we have one more round of this circuit. All right, so we're going to grab our towel. We're going back into our Superman row. If you guys want, you can watch me real quick. If you're feeling a pain in that lower back, you should reach up. Don't reach so high. So you want to go just so you feel that stretch. And then back down. Right? Back into our Superman rows. So we'll give you a few seconds to set it up. And we go again. So back on our stomachs. Hands in front of the head. Head looking in the ground. Ready? Three, two, one. And we're up. Down, in and out. Up, down, in and out. That's two, up. Down, in and out. That's three, give me seven more on your own. Up, down, in and out. Keep it nice and slow, right? It's not about the speed, it's about the form. Make sure those elbows bend. Like I'm pulling into my face, but it's going behind my neck instead. Go ahead, keep it going. Should have four more reps left. Need about 15 seconds to finish it off. And we go right back into our glute bridge walkout. Good, five more seconds, keep it going. Three, two, one, and relax, good. Back on our backs for our glute bridge walkout. So my feet are front, that's my butt again. Toes into my shins, drive those hips up. And slowly walk my feet away. Feel that pulling in the hamstring, but your hamstrings will not pull, nor will they tear. 30 seconds of reps, so we go. Up, walk the feet away. Keep those toes to the shin. Once your legs are straight, relax that butt. Up, squeeze, squeeze. Walk away. All right? If you want to make it harder, your hips should not be shifting as you walk out. So try and be as stable as you can. Little tip, the slower the better. Five more seconds of reps, and we're back into our inchworms. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Back in our inchworm position. Hands in front of the head, shoulders behind the hands, legs are straight out. I'm going to keep my legs straight as I walk into my hands, pause, and then walk it back out. 30 seconds here, here we go. All right, it's our last strength circuit. And we're going to finish off with a core finisher. Really get those beach bobs ready. Good. Remember, keep those legs straight. Once your knees start to bend, you've gone too far. Ten more seconds of reps. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. All right. My favorite thing to do, we're doing some core now to finish off. Here's what we need to remember. My back is always flat, so when I'm on the ground, lower hand can't go into my back. So what I'm gonna do here is what's called a dead bug hold. My back is flat into the ground. My legs are up at 90 degrees, which means my knees are overneath my hips, and my knees and ankles are in the same line. Great 90 degree angle, I'm just squeezing hold here, focus on driving lower back in. From there, both hands go straight above my chest, so I can see my hands. Now what we're gonna do is you're on my cue. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So my right arm goes back, my left leg reaches out, but neither touches the ground. Squeeze and hold, back and center. Then when I say switch, you're gonna reach out, opposite arm, opposite leg, so right leg out, left leg out, or left arm out, excuse me. And then back in. We're gonna do four rounds of that, and we're gonna switch to something else. Ready? Three, two, one. Right arm out, left leg out, squeeze and hold, 10 seconds. Right, focus on the lower back in the ground, nothing touches the ground. Three, two, one, back center, other arm, other leg, reaching out nice and long. Think as long as I can be from arm to leg, the ones that are reaching out. Two, one, back center, here we go again. Opposite arm, opposite leg, should be left leg out, right arm out. Reach that left arm up to the ceiling, drive that lower back to the ground. Good, and we switch. Last one here. Your hips should be on fire by now. Good, keep holding. Two, one, good, and relax. We're going into a side plank hold now. 
So what I'm going to do is my elbow is underneath my shoulder. My hand is in line my elbow. My legs are out straight. My knees and feet are stacked. My hips are stacked. Your top hand can go on your hip. You reach up, up to you. What we're going to do is you're going to go up. We're going to squeeze and hold for 20 seconds. Then when I say go, it's up and down for 10 seconds. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And we're up, squeeze and hold. 20 second hold. The bottom glute should be firing. That's going to help keep you up and stable. All right, 10 seconds in. We have 10 seconds to go. When I say the word, we have our dips. Ready? Three, two, one. 10 seconds of dips. Look to get 10 reps, making sure we're stable. Five seconds left, keep it going, and then we're going on the other side. Good, and relax. Switch it over on the side now. Focus on elbow under the shoulder blade, hand in line with the elbow. Right, feet are stacked, knees are stacked, hips are stacked. Ready, three, two, one, and we're up. Squeeze and hold, hand can go on the hip, hand can go up, it's up to you. Right, if you need to, touch your belly button. If it's flabby, you need to squeeze, right? Focus on that belly button pulling into the lower back. You got five seconds left and we have 10 dips. Ready, and we go, 10 dips, 10 seconds. Right, slow and under control. If you can't get 10 reps, that's fine. I'd rather have five reps of quality. Two, one, good, and relax. Last one is 30 seconds. We're doing what's called shoulder tap. So I'm in a push-up position. My feet can be inside my shoulders or outside. The wider they are, the easier it is. What we're gonna do is right hand to left shoulder, back down, left hand to left right shoulder, back down. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. If it's too hard, put your knees on the ground, walk your hands a little bit further, you can do the same thing. Ready, three, two, one, and we go, right? As we do this, I don't want our hips to rock up, I want to stay as flat and as stable as I can. We feel our hips rocking. Walk our feet a little bit wider. All right, 30 seconds of reps. We're halfway through. Good, nice and stable. Don't let those hips rock. There we go. Feel that core fire. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. Last round, and then we're done for the day. Right back to the backs. Lower back into the ground. I'm at 90 degrees. Knees over hips, ankles on line of knees, hands above. Right, right arm out, left leg out. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Pause and squeeze, drive that toe into the face. Nothing touches the ground but the lower back. Good, back in and we switch sides. Right, keep that leg that's up at that 90 degrees, don't let it fall away. Fire that core, fire hips. Good, and back middle, switch again. Right arm out, left leg out. Squeeze and hold. Three, two, one, and last one. Switch arms and legs. Last 10 second hold, make it good, don't quit. Three, two, one, good, and relax. Back on our sides for our side plank. Left elbow down, in line with the hand, elbow underneath the shoulder. Second my feet, second my hips. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and we're up. Squeeze and hold. Think big chest, pop that chest out. Right, make yourself look bigger than you really are. Ten more seconds, and then we go back to our ten reps or ten second depths. All right, five, four, three. Two, one, and we go. 10 reps for 10 seconds. Up and down. Drive those hips to the ceiling. Make sure everything's in line. Four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. We have our last one here, and we got our shoulder taps. Ready? Right arm underneath the shoulder. Feet stack, hip stack. Ready? And we're up. Drive those hips up. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Big chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. All right, I know we're tired, this is going to power through. Right, I think last five minutes of the game. 10 more seconds, we have our reps. Good, think big chest, shoulders on top of each other. Don't let that shoulder fall forward. Ready, and we dip. 10 seconds, power through, finish strong. 
Right? Beautiful day to go outside, show off our beautiful muscles we just worked on. Good and relax. Back into our push up position. We got a shoulder task and we finish with some stretching. All right, push up position. Ready? Three, two, one. And we go. Opposite arm, opposite shoulder. All right, nice and slow. Don't let those hips rock. All right, as it gets harder, as our hips start to rock, like I'm doing now, walk your feet outside your shoulders a little bit more. Gives you a little bit more stability. 10 more seconds, finish it out nice and strong, come on. Almost there, come on, don't quit, don't quit, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and we relax. All of you, well done. Want to be a workout with this some stretching, right? Get those muscles back to where they were so they don't lock us up, lock us up 10 hours later. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go flat on your back. Your left foot is gonna go over your right leg. Right hand, which is on the ground, Grabs behind my left knee. My left hand, which is the shoulder off the ground, is going to grab my right toe and pull it back like I'm doing a quad stretch. I'm slowly going to let my left shoulder fall to the ground. You should feel it in your right hip, a little bit in the left glute, and a lot in your back. Think about giving me five deep breaths as we hold here. Big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Right, keep that heel into your butt. Pull that knee into your chest. Feel the stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. We do the other side and we finish out. Left hand, I'm sorry, right foot goes over the left leg. Left hand grabs the right knee. Right hand grabs the left foot. I'm going to grab, pull towards my butt and slowly rock that right shoulder into the ground. Right, we call this the pretzel stretch because you're turning yourself into a pretzel. All right, really pull that toe towards your butt. Feel the stretch of that left hip. Ten more seconds as we hold. Good. Four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Once again, thank you guys all for joining these sessions. I hope you guys enjoyed them. You learned a few things. Hopefully, it's something that we can continue to do. All right, we've got some great feedback, so I think it's something we're looking towards, right? Go enjoy the beautiful day. Go enjoy some great food in the local area. Now the restaurants are open. Have a great day, guys.